Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're diving into a new thriller that's making waves on Netflix. It's called Rebel Ridge, directed by Jeremy Saulnier Yes, the same genius behind gritty hits like Blue Ruin, Green Room, and Hold the Dark. If you're into nail-biting tension and unpredictable plots, then you're in for a treat. So what's Rebel Ridge all about? Well, at the core of this film is an ex-Marine, Terry Richmond, who gets tangled up in a small town's dark and twisted corruption. His attempt to post bail for his cousin snowballs into something way bigger, a deadly game of cat and mouse with the local police. But before I get into the intense action and why you should hit play on this one. All right, let's get back to Rebel Ridge. As someone who's a big fan of Saulnier's work, I went into this film with high expectations and let me tell you, it delivered. What's interesting is that I went in completely blind. I skipped the trailer, didn't even bother with the plot synopsis. Sometimes that's the best way to experience a film, and I think it paid off here. From the very first scene, the movie grabs you by the throat. Terry Richmond, played by the incredible Aaron Pierre, is biking down a lonely road when a cop runs him off the path. Instantly, you're thrust into a high-stakes situation that had me on the edge of my seat. It gave me the same raw, relentless energy as classics like First Blood. Terry's character might remind you of those strong but silent types you've seen in action films before. But what really sets him apart is how he uses his wits. Instead of relying purely on violence, Terry maneuvers through each situation, manipulating and outsmarting his enemies and Pierre brings so much depth to the role. His quiet intensity is magnetic. And honestly, I couldn't look away. I kept checking the runtime, hoping there was more left because I was completely hooked. Now, if you're into small town action films like I am, this one is going to tick all the boxes for you. I've always loved movies where you follow one character through a personal mission, especially when that character is seeking some kind of justice and Rebel Ridge delivers on that front. The way it captures Terry's struggle against a corrupt system, it's gripping, it's real, and it's frustrating in the best way possible. You want him to win. You need him to win. What's really cool is that this movie gives us a twist on the usual reluctant hero trope. Yes, like Rambo, Terry would prefer not to resort to violence, but what sets him apart is how strategic he is. He doesn't just barrel through obstacles. He carefully calculates his moves, making every interaction pulse with tension. The dialogue between him and his enemies? It's razor sharp, with Terry using words as weapons just as effectively as fists. I also have to shout out Anna Sophia Robb in this. She plays a court clerk who's crucial to the story. And I have to say, this is probably the best performance I've seen from her. She brings so much heart and vulnerability to the role. Her character is navigating her own struggles, and the way that ties into the larger story is handled beautifully. There's a lot of legal maneuvering in the plot, and while that might sound boring, the film keeps it compelling and high stakes. One thing I found especially fascinating is how the film dives into these legal loopholes. It really hammers home how those in power can exploit even the smallest gaps in the law for their benefit. It's chilling. I couldn't help but wonder how much of this might reflect real-world corruption. And as I watched, I kept thinking about Dragged Across Concrete, both films tackle police corruption and even share the same actor, Don Johnson, playing the shady police chief. These movies feel like they could exist in the same universe, like companion pieces. Now, I know some people are calling this an indie film, but with a budget of $28 million, that's indie only in Netflix terms. Still, the movie looks fantastic. Saulnier makes every dollar count using the budget to create tension that's tangible and visuals that are gritty yet gorgeous. I just hope we get to see more films like this on the platform. Netflix is really stepping up its game when it comes to these mid-budget thrillers. To wrap things up, Rebel Ridge is absolutely worth your time. It's intense, it's smart, and it's one of the best Netflix originals I've seen in a while. If you haven't checked it out yet, do yourself a favor and add it to your watch list. You won't regret it. And hey, if you loved this breakdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and get stuckmanized, there's plenty more to come.